Single-family rentals aren't new. They already represent 34% of the U.S. rental housing stock, and they house 42% of renters. What's new is the level of interest they're getting from renters and from investors. In this video, we'll talk about what's behind the surge in popularity, who lives in single-family rentals, and the outlook for this property type in the coming years. First up, what do single-family rentals offer that other property types don't, and which features should property managers highlight in their ads? First, single-family rentals have the space that larger households need to live comfortably. Our renters survey found that within single-family rentals, a typical household includes three people, as opposed to two among households living in multifamily properties. Because of their larger size, single-family households are more likely to include couples, kids, and other relatives, and they often have pets. That makes single-family properties' additional bedrooms and backyards highly appealing. Second, single-family rentals give renters access to suburban and rural job opportunities in schools. More than anything else, single-family renters say they're motivated by the desire to live in a safe, quiet neighborhood. Because they're located in areas where multifamily developments aren't as common, single-family rentals provide opportunities for renters to live, work, and attend school in a city's outlying neighborhoods and suburbs. They also provide housing for the 7.5 million renter households who live in rural areas. Third, single-family rentals free renters from the burden of a down payment, a mortgage, and property upkeep. Single-family rentals make it possible for renters to enjoy the benefits of living in a home without having to qualify for a mortgage. This makes single-family rentals an important offering for both young adults who haven't yet built up the credit and savings they would need to buy a home, and for middle-aged adults who are rebuilding their finances after a setback. They're also a good fit for older renters who don't want to own and maintain a property on their own. Overall, single-family rentals are poised to meet the needs of many different renter demographics in the years to come, including couples and families facing off against the shortage of starter homes. In our next video, we'll talk about who owns single-family rentals, from mom-and-pop landlords to institutional investors. To see our future updates, be sure to follow me here on LinkedIn and subscribe to Billiam's YouTube channel. See you next time!